Okay, so now let's go ahead and begin our variable declaration and some general things. So usually one of the most common variables and one of the first ones that you learn about is an int. So uh, we can type in int year. We will assign it a value of 2016. But anyway, this is a variable year of type int. So variable year of type int int. Uh, the value of this variable is not yet defined. That is, this variable is not initialized. It, However, it does have a value, believe it or not, uh, regardless of whether we assign it or not, it has the value of whatever, uh, whatever was in the memory in that particular location before the variable was declared. So we have occupied a certain amount of memory space, and whatever was within that memory space is now now belongs to this variable. You can do a printout of this variable without initialization and you will get some some random things basically <laughs> to an extent. Anyway, now we can go ahead and set the value of a variable. So you can set the value of a variable down below if you want somewhere along the way in your code. Year equals 2016. You can redeclare your variable by typing in year equals 2017 somewhere later along the code. So uh, at this point, in, I don't know, you have you have some code in between them, and here the year had the variable year had the value of 2016, and somewhere down the road you decided to change the value of the variable year to 2017, and now it will have the value of 2017. So just wanted to clear that out. Now, uh, we can write it, we can actually use this variable, and we can write it to standard output, like this. So std cout insertion up here, and we can type in, I don't know, uh, year is space and insertion operator year. So we will simply use the variable and it will print out the value of the variable, the value that is contained within the variable. If I do it like this, come on, there we go. So year is 2016. As you can see, year is 2016 because year contains the value of the variable year. Uh, just get, let me go ahead and edit, select, find, properties, buffer size, fund. Give me like 24, okay? Yep, there we go. So this must be much better as you can see it a lot easier because I now actually need you to see all the all the printouts. It says year is 2016, just as it says here, year is, and then the variable year, but the variable year won't get printed out. Its value will be taken and that will be printed out on to the screen. Uh, we can declare multiple variables of the same type in one line. So for example, if I do this, uh, I don't know, down below we can type in int, a equals, I don't know, 10, we don't, we can say B, we don't need to declare B, and then we can say like C equals 14. Uh, you don't need these spaces that I'm making here, I'm just making them so that you can see it better. It doesn't make a difference to the computer, by the way, it doesn't make a difference to the machine, I don't know, D equals 5, E equals A, keep this in mind, F can be equal, I don't know, uh, equal to whatever, 5, and then say G, and we don't need to declare G. Initialize G, G, sorry. So A is equal to 10, B is uninitialized, C is equal to 14, D is equal to 5, and you can see that we are separating these initializations, this declaration, and initializations with a comma. So in between each variable, we have a comma. And here we say E is equal to A, which is a perfectly valid statement. So one variable, E, is initialized to the value of another variable 
a. So e will be effectively equal to 10. So let's take a look at a rather simple example and see what happens here. Uh, so we shall leave year and then we shall go ahead and begin our declaration. So mon for month. So mon month, Just say third and day shall be equal shall be equal to 16th semicolon here so we have in oops sorry i don't need two semicolons so we shall initialize all three of these variables year as well 2016 so they're all initialized now let's go ahead and use them so std colon colon c out insertion today is colon uh, close the quote marks. So because C++ ignores white spaces, they do not matter. Uh, we can write our command on several lines in order to make it a in order just to increase the clarity level, so to say. I mean, it doesn't matter perhaps that much now. It's purely for aesthetic purposes, but later on in the code you will see how sometimes this can help you out, uh, make your code look a lot nicer and a lot uh, and it makes it more readable, so to say. So. Let's go ahead and place our insertion variable, insertion operator here, std colon colon set w2. So we're setting width here. And it's going to be day. Okay, so let's go into the, into the next line. We could have actually, well, we could have placed these insert insertion operators like, this is all the same as this. So we're simply putting it in the next line. That is all that there is to it. So uh, let's place a dot here. No big deal. Let's go down and std colon colon set width to again, insertion mon. So for month, Okay, let's put another dot. And at last, we shall type in year, insertion, insertion, and then we'll put a dot here. So we could have placed this dot in the next line. So as you can see, this would be pretty much the same, but I just wanted to make a bit of a demonstration here of how you can have different variants of this. And if I build and run this, I shall get an error, of course. So let's go ahead and see where the problem lies. So day is equal to 16. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, am I missing a semicolon somewhere? So there's a semicolon here. And yep, okay, there we go semicolon at the end. Excellent, sorry for that. Let's go ahead and build and run this. Come on, my good man, do not torment me so. I have not done you so much fall or harm. Okay, so uh, set w is not recognized, right. Once again, I, why did I delete this one? I have no idea. Include io and ip. We need some, we need to do some manipulation. So obviously I am an and happen. Yes, there we go. So today is 16th dot space three dot 2016 dot. So let's, let's follow this through. Today is okay. Uh, colon space. Excellent. All is there. And says set with two. And then it says day. So day is six, no wait. Uh, today is, today is, ah, okay, 16, sorry, yes. So set with two, 16, so one, two, 16. Then we have a dot. Again, we have set with two and we're supposed to print out a month. The month is the third. So wait, one, two, so two positions. Dot again and year, 
2016 and dot at the end. So what if we, for example, wanted to place a zero here instead of empty space so that we would actually get a more formatted output. So let's go ahead and modify this code and make that happen for us. We will now modify this in and instead of printing out like, I don't know, this format of a date like uh, 16.space3.2016, we're going to go ahead and print out 16.03.2016, which is actually a more meaningful output. To do this, we will use std set fill from iomanip library, which we have uh, included here. Set fill allows us to fill in the empty places with whatever we pretty much want or specify. It's rather simple, but very useful in the long run. So we can leave the variables to be initialized as they are. We don't really need to change anything there. Uh, this part we can also pretty much leave as it is. And then as it begins here, so it says set std set with two, we will insert it here. So insertion operator, std colon colon, set fill space uh, zero. So yeah, we want to fill the empty space with zero. And okay, so down below, we shall also state that std colon colon set fill because why am I placing a zero up there because you can also have days which are one two three four five six seven eight nine and then after ten they begin to go they go into two digit numbers so set fill and we shall have a zero here as well excellent so we don't actually need to do anything else really we can just leave it as it is uh, we can just go ahead and run it uh it's, i don't know why is it taking so long to actually run these programs okay so there we go so it says today is colon 16th 03 2016 we can in fact change these variables to be like okay let's say that today is the sixth day of the month what would happen then Uh, you see, it says zero, 06. So it just fills the empty spaces with whatever we specify. We have specified that we want the empty spaces to be filled with zero, and so indeed they are. Anyway, that would be it for the basics of variables. We will be using variables throughout our code. I don't think that there will be a single example without the variables included. So this will, this, this subject will expand uh, to a rather, rather large extent. But anyway, we're pretty much done and over with this initial chapter. And now we're going to go ahead and go to chapter two.